Hi, I am Justimiano Alves and I am a senior software developer. In this video demo, I'm going to show you how you can use team development for Sitecore with the T4 template code generation to generate a glass mapper model that represents your Sitecore data template. As a first step, we are going to set up a TDS project. I'm assuming at this point, you already have installed the TDS. For this demo, I recommend to install a TDS Sitecore version 6, since the Sitecore instance that I'm gonna use for demo is the Sitecore version 9.2, which is compatible for that version of the TDS that I'm asking to install. So now we are going to create a TDS project so we're gonna use i'm gonna use the visual to 2019 i create a new project and i will choose the site core tds template uh the project name is dict and then i'm gonna change the location where i'm gonna save the project i'm gonna save in a c drive uh, just because it's more practical So in the CD folder under digital T folder, I'm going to create a demo folder to store this demo there. Uh, so I'm going to make sure the project name uh, that I'm going to create is a different dissolution name. So this project is addicted.tds. I'm going to clean it up to remove the, uh, the TDS from the solution name and then just create the project. Here's the TDS. Next step, you're going to open the property to fill out the information. So when you open the project property, you have to go to the build section. On the build section, you have to provide the website URL and the physical folder. So I'm going to the uh, wroot in at pub and choose one of the website that I have there for the site core dot nine. And then I'm gonna open the browser and I'm gonna get the website URL uh, to fill it out there and then and then when you get the website URL, you fill out everything properly. You have to install the Sitecore connected. You have to check the box. And then you're gonna run the test to make sure your TDS was able to connect with your Sitecore instance successfully. So next time, right click on your TDS project and get all the content that you want from Sitecore. Mainly just the content, form layout and the template. That's those one you need. So like I say, you check the content, the templates, and the forms and the layout. Those are the things that you want to synchronize on your TDS. And then you just click, and then it will download everything to your TDS project. As you see, we want to get all the templates. So right click on the templates. And then when you do that, you will get all the templates item. And then especially I'm going to select the project, feature, and the foundation. And the project, I'm going to select all children. Then you get, you click on the get item, you will get everything. As you see right now, I get all the child and the, under the template. I'm going to do the same thing for the item home to get all the child and the get home in, just for test. Under layout and the form, I don't have an item there, so I'm going to leave it as it is. So yeah, so this is how you use TDS development for Sitecore to synchronize and get all your content from Sitecore. As you ever learned with me in this journey, how to create a TDS project and to synchronize with Sitecore. So the next step, we're going to set up a model project with the glass mapper to generate all the templates in a strong type object C-sharp class. Stay tuned.